two, um, the games are coming thick and fast for the women's national team. Two more again this month. That's correct, Jerry. Um, we've only actually completed half of our campaign to date. It seems like it's gone on forever at this point. But yes, we're now on the reverse fixture, I suppose, uh, with everybody. And we face Croatia now on Saturday, Saturday week in Tallis Stadium. And then five days later, we have Russia. So yes, they're coming thick and fast. You're at the halfway point in the campaign, five games down, five to go. Are you happy where you're at? Um, a little disappointed, I suppose. Um, we're, we're quite disappointed, really, with the performance um, and the result, indeed, against Russia in the, the last outing in Tala uh, there last month. Um, I suppose we went into that game with high hopes, having done so well against uh, one of the top seeds in the world, Germany, and acquitting ourselves very well, and indeed nearly pulling off the the, the scalp of the century, I suppose. But um, you know, we went into the Russia game then, I suppose, full of hope, and it just didn't go right for us in the first twenty minutes. And you know, I suppose these things happen. So it's now up to ourselves to pick it up and that starts with Croatia on uh, Saturday week as I said and we certainly won't be underestimating them in any way because we had a tough time with them already um, in the first game we played them away there late last year um, and I think they've proved everybody they've gotten stronger as the campaign's gone on um, they got their first victory against Slovenia there recently and you know they made life difficult for us when we were over there and I expect them to do the same again and as I say I, I don't think they're a bottom seed uh, certainly they're not playing like a bottom seed anyway so we won't be underestimating them. And while you're in third place, they're in fourth place and they're only three points behind you. So they'll have plenty of incentive coming to Dublin. They will for sure. And as I said, they, they very nearly beat us uh, in Croatia. They were leading for a long time and we they took a late equaliser by us in the 93rd, 94th minute to get get a point. But I've also said, I think, that we actually didn't play particularly well in that game. Um, and we were also missing a couple of our more senior players. So, you know, we will be glad to have those players like Louise Quinn, uh, Fiona Sullivan, who, who have been starting 11 and every other game they both missed that game to injury so they'll add an awful lot in, in terms of uh, when we play when we play Croatia now next week. After the Croatia match uh, last September you played Slovenia in October and you, you produced probably the best performance of the campaign are you hoping for a similar effect this, this time around? Yes we'll be certainly looking for a similar reaction and, and you're right that was definitely our best performance um, in an attacking sense to date I suppose you know the game against Germany was a little bit different we, we were tight at, at the back we were we didn't want to concede anything we were compact in defence and then indeed hit the Germans on the counter attack so it was a different style of play but we'd be absolutely looking for more of the same and we're the home team and you know at the beginning of this campaign the target was to win the home game certainly against the team seated below us and um, hopefully beat them away also that hasn't quite happened yet but for sure we're looking for three points in this game so it's up to us as the home team to take the game to the Croatia. You've named your squad today a squad of 20 and you've brought back Neve Fahey and MT McDonald. That's great. Yeah, that's correct. It's great to welcome both those players back. Um, it's been a long road for Neve. She she suffered an ACL injury uh, March of last year, 2013. So she's missed a full calendar year, um, or full 12 months with us. Uh, a lot of games played in that time, but it's great to have someone with her experience back in the squad. Um, she's a big player for us. She's a big player for Arsenal. She played in the FA Cup final at the weekend for Arsenal, and that was only her second 90 minutes. But I think it showed, you know, that Arsenal are struggling a little bit uh, of late. But they were they 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 wanted to put Neve straight back in the team and she did really really well um, likewise MT McDonald is an experienced player as well and has been around a long time and can play a number of positions for us as Neve can so it, it's great I think particularly for the younger players to welcome back that experience and that stability um, in the squad You've been getting good support at, at Tala Stadium for the last uh, home, few home matches and that are you hoping for the same again on Saturday week? We are. Um, I know it's right in the middle of the World Cup, but I'm not sure there's any glamour matches on that night. But we're hoping that the, the locals come out in force again. And indeed, they've been great, to, great getting behind the girls. You know, in the good times against Germany, and indeed when things weren't going well for us in the first half against um, Russia. So we're looking for more of the same again, and we're 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 urging people to come out and support us and and, and be our twelfth man again. And hopefully get a result that will send you to Russia uh, for the match on Thursday week, full of confidence. That's correct, yeah. We've Russia five days later and, um, you know, I think the girls all are, are, are eager to play them again and acquit themselves a bit better. That's not necessarily to say we can beat them because, you know, let's not forget they're uh, powerhouse women's football also and they're one of the top teams in the world. Um, they've qualified for finals over the years and they have that experience behind them. But, you know, I, I know the players are, are, are eager to, to put the disappointing performance behind them and, and get at the Russians again. But we won't think about that one until we have Croatia out of the way.